and girls. It is 10.38 a.m. and it's already about 77, 78 degrees outside. Which is just saying, Baker X dude, come out for a ride. Come out for a ride, won't you? So you know what that means. How to fire up my old baby ZX6R and go out for a little ride. I do have a little stop to make. Oh shit, oh shit, tall. Ooh, I would have fucking ate it on that pothole. A thing I've always been curious about ever since living here. I don't know where to go ask for the answer. I'm pretty sure I'd just go down to the city or whatnot. But uh if I was to eat shit on one of these potholes and uh you know i crashed and got hurt and my bike got all messed up i wonder if the city is responsible for that i've had so many times where i've had the bar shaking on me hardcore because uh hit me hitting a pothole and stuff and uh it's not fun and i i always get pissed off when i hit those potholes that shouldn't be happening. Harley. <laughs> she has some leather over her uh, ponytail. That looks funny. San Bernardino is a very ghetto city and there's this random street right here called Valencia and um, it's full of the nice homes and big homes and whatnot and it's, it's pretty funny how you have this nice area and then right when you pass the street it's just shit Time to make a pit stop real fast. I haven't been to our uh, our city mall in a while. I feel like just taking a walk, clearing my head, enjoying my day. Oh, there's my buddy right there in the Camaro. question how do you guys have your clutch set up the clutch uh clutch bar whatever the fuck you call it clutch handle i just set it up a different way like a couple days ago and i enjoy it i have it where i have it where it fully engages like about an inch right here so i can just simply like love tap it with my finger like this I like it because it's just simple. I can even probably stir, stir shift do it with my pinky. I, I tend to think that's a lot easier. People are telling me that I should get ASV shorty levers. I'd like them and they look nice, don't get me wrong, but these ones are pretty uh, decent. They're not bad at all. Ooh, look at that ZX7R right there. That thing is sexy, and sexy and is, is an understatement.
past this bike almost two years and I love it even more than I got when I loved it. Ah, I love it more than I loved it when I first got it even. That's how you know you got a good woman. One of the shittiest malls around. Nonetheless, it's a mall. It's got, it's got a few good stores, don't get me wrong, but there's a lot better ones around. I usually park by this eatery area. Probably right where I would park today. And thankfully, this is a business that has motorcycle parking. get the convenient motorcycle parking. Why oh, is he carrying all that? Reserved for motorcycle parking. Look at that. Look at that. Looks like a triumph on that picture or something. Like the one from Metal Gear Solid 3 that Eva rides. <clears throat> Mall sucks ass. I just realized it's Sunday. And on Sundays, there's an awesome ass swap meet right here on around the corner. And I haven't been there in a cool minute. Away we go. There's a little racetrack right there too called the Orange Show Speedway. It's pretty cool. I always wanted to take my bike there and see what it what I can do. to fall into with my street bike. That would be awesome to go into with a fucking dirt bike. Brap, brap. Andale, bye bye. Hurry up. I'm a twat hair away from just going around all these people right now. that I'm on a bike. Especially when we get to the damn parking lot. Now yeah, I can just cut up through there into the grass and then the fucking thing is. Hmm. Where the hell can I park? to park there because it looks like a handicap lane and I doubt anyone handicaps going to be riding a ZX6R. I'm about to become jack mode on some bitch. There's how many people like to come to swap meets around here. This is just ridiculous. I'd love to just scoop up on the spot, but... That'd be 
a dick move. Another reason I want an Enduro, I could just go over that curb and go into the street. But nope, on this I gotta go down to the drive to the driveway and dip on out. Well, while well, all these suckers have to wait to get out of one driveway, I can just go through here. There's a parking structure I used to come to right over here. It has a pretty cool little view for the top. It's not too high up, but we are in downtown, so that's pretty cool. Let's see if I can go inside. Oh my goodness, it's so fucking empty in here. And it's so low, look at that. This is parking for the city hall. I bet my bike sounds delicious in here. Do not enter, but what I read is enter. I wonder if there's anybody on the other side of those windows looking at me going, the fuck is that guy doing? I don't think I'm supposed to be up here. By all the fucking code enforcement cars. What did I say? It looks beautiful up here, right? See, it's not that high up, but it's higher than most of everything out here, so you can get a little overlook. That's where I came in at. pretty beautiful up here. Exit. Let's do some little tunnel exhaust. ground is extremely slick. I just slid about 10 feet. That sounded pretty beautiful. And they're just tearing up San Bernardino left and right around here, man. Everything's just ripped up. Yeah, that's a tall building. At least when I'm sitting up against it. San Bernardino Go County Government Center. Fuck that place. go ahead and do uh, today's motor vlogger spotlight and today's motor vlogger spotlight is going to be for Irish Rover 63 Irish Rover is a motor vlogger that needs some more subscribers he has awesome ass sceneries in his videos awesome Irish dude with an awesome Irish accent he, really fun to listen to and hear talk uh, really good guy you know and uh, he needs some more, you know, he needs some more subs and to have people watch his awesome videos and enjoy the nice scenery he offers. So, uh, Irish Rover 63, today's Moto Vlogger uh, Spotlight is for you. Keep up the great videos, man. Oh, guys. 
going to go ahead and conclude the end of my motovlog adventure for today. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the old fuck out of that like button. <laughs> you guys have a good day.